Taurus, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Also, I will be answering three yes or no questions with my pendulum, so get those questions ready for the extended. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because A, it's beneficial for you, and B, it's completely free. It doesn't cost anything, so go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, Taurus, um, there is a contest going on for a free tarot reading. The video for all of the information will be at the end, but basically, you hit the subscribe, like, and share button, and then comment on that other video that you did those things, and you'll be entered in to win. I'll pull some oracle cards, and we'll hop right into your tarot reading. Take a leap of faith. Grasshopper spirit. This always makes me think of like Jiminy Cricket. A rebirth is assured. Slow and steady wins the race. And what you're not seeing, life is speeding up. <laughs> kind of an oxymoron. It's almost like you have to go slow to move fast. You have to go slow to move fast. Interesting. I feel like the direction that you go, you're going in is not something you've ever experienced before. And the universe is trying to tell you, like, and because I did mention Jiminy Cricket here, I feel like there's about an honesty about this change that's coming in. You have to go slow to go fast. Going slow is going fast. I'll lay all these down and then I'll go over them. Seven of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Justice. Three of Wands. Four of Swords. Two of Cups. And the overall energy is... Four of Pentacles. So right off the bat, I'm only seeing one major arcana here. And this could be about a divorce, a legal situation, or something that you're going through, but you're not seeing, you're not seeing what's going on. You're not seeing. There is a lot of healing that needs to happen here. I'm going to clarify the Seven of Cups. Two of Pentacles. And the fool. Okay, so interesting, interestingly enough, this is the fool and this is the fool. This grasshopper spirit and the fool card. This is about going in a direction you've never experienced before. It's, it's not about trusting yourself at this point. It's about trusting in spirit, trusting in the surrendering of a situation. The two of pentacles is about... This is a, really about finding balance, finding comfort in, in these new experiences, in this transformation, finding comfort in transformation, in change, finding comfort through change. This um, Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. I feel like there is, this is like such slow, ridiculously slow energy right here, but it's really clear about groundedness and about your actions that you need to take. Because what's missing in here is action and compassion in this specific situation. It's just grounded and clear thought, but there's no action. Here you are. So, okay, this is interesting. The Justice card is clarified by the Hierophant, which is you, Taurus, and the Hanged Man, the Star, and the Nine of Wands. There is something that you need to release and see from a different perspective. Um, I feel like... One more card for that. I feel like there are some secrets that need to be revealed with this specific situation. You might be holding back or somebody else might be holding back. I feel like... Um, there's, there's a lot of stuff in the dark that you're just not seeing. I mean, like the star, the moon, and the... So the justice has her eyes covered, so she can't see anything. She has no idea what's going on. She's only going by feeling. And then the star, like that's really dark, but that's also about feeling and emotions as well. And you can't see things. And then the moon is also about things that you can't see. There's something you're not seeing here, obviously. 
you're not seeing something. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get clarification on what it is that you're not seeing. But there's action towards... There's action towards maturing situation. I feel like either you have been immature in a situation or um, the person that you're dealing with or the situation that you're dealing with has been a, an immature situation. But you're, you're trying to manifest something coming in. But every single one of these cards that I pulled right here, they're all immature action, immature love, immature groundedness, immature stability. This is not... Um, this is like, ha ha, I told you so. Ha ha, this is my way. I'm going to make it my, like, like these are, the pages are children in like that specific attitude. And like, there's lessons here that you need to learn about specific action. And I feel like you might have sabotaged yourself in these situations. Like you're sitting here, you're asking for something, but you might not be handling it the way that you should be handling it. Or the person that you're dealing with is not handling this the way that they're supposed to be handling it. Four of Swords, Six of Wands, Tower, and the Three of Cups. You're supposed to be overcoming. There's like some sort of third party situation. Um, I'm actually surprised that the Devil card did not come out. Or even um, the Seven of Swords. Because... I feel like there's real manipulation in this specific situation. There's like taking a time out and not doing what needs to be done. And it's like really focused on yourself, but not actually over, but not, it's like focusing on yourself, tooting your own horn, but then, um, you know, like I'm better than you type of situation. But then it's like things blow up and it's like, there's, there's, a, there's a control here that I'm not actually caring for. You know, it's like there's there's some sort of selfish nature that's going on. And I don't know if it's your energy or if it's the person you're dealing with. I feel like it could be you for some of you. And I feel like it could be other people for other people in the other situations. But there's something that's going to happen here. And it's going to be a real wake-up call about um, contr controlling and sneakiness. And, like, things are going to be coming out. There's some information that is going to be coming out. Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, uh, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I feel like there might have been... Yes, there it is, the Devil card. There was manipulation in here. I thought so, but I wasn't 100% sure. There's some sort of manipulation that's going on with like... Look at what I've done. Look at all that I've done. I've done for you. Look at all the work that I've done for you. Look at what I've I've helped you with. I've I've done all of these things, and I'm so great, and I'm so this, and I'm so da 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 da. And it's like, but in reality, it's only purely selfish that that person who's sitting there tooting their own horn, they're selfishly doing it. It's not with good intentions or true intentions. There's a there's a lot of control. I feel like. For the person who's being taken advantage of, I feel like you need to really focus on yourself and focus on your finances and focus on how to take care of yourself and your authenticity and find your balance. I feel like you're not going to see when balance comes in. I feel like you just need to focus on yourself and take care of yourself. And that's how it, and that feels slow, but that's the slow and steady that wins the race. This is the, that's how it speeds up is like standing back and focusing on yourself in these situations. I, this legal situation or um, divorce or whatever it is that's going on, there is a person here who is manipulative. I have pulled this multiple times with this specific sign lately. It's like either you are dealing with somebody that is of this nature or um, you are this person that really needs to wake up and have this rebirth and focus on you know, what are your true intentions in these situations? Like there's some self-reflection that needs to happen here, but whatever happens, there is a tower moment that is coming in that is going to reveal the control. There's a tower moment that's going in that's that's going to show that whoever this person is that is manipulating, that whoever this person is that is controlling, that that person is going to be exposed. 
Okay, Taurus, so this is what I have for you in the extended. I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I am also going to do the three yes or no questions, so make sure that when you come into the extended, you have those questions ready for you. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really is beneficial. A, it's completely free, and B, you get notified all things Taurus. Also, uh, a couple of videos are going to pop up here. One of them is about the contest. If you're interested in that, I highly recommend you check them out, and I'll see you over there.